this is a 22 year old male who caught his foot, twisted his ankle, felt a pop and has really bad knee pain. Um, presents to my office, has a really swollen knee. I'm gonna go ahead and aspirate the knee to get off any blood or any fluid that's in the knee. So step number one is you wanna do a really good prep. And I, I recommend that you have the patient lie on the table with the leg in full extension. And usually the lateral side of the knee, you can see is really swollen. So I tend to aspirate on the lateral side where this big area of swelling is located. So I'll do a betadine prep um, in this area. So that's step number one. Step number two will be, go ahead and hand me the, the syringe, is I'm gonna go ahead and put some um, numbing medicine in. So sorry, this is gonna be a little bit of pinch and burn, a little bit of poke, one, two, three, pinch, and I'm right under the skin, and you can see the, the weld come up, sorry. And I'm using a 25 gauge needle, so hopefully it hurts the least amount. Then I'm gonna go and inject a little bit further in and get the capsule of the knee um, while I'm injecting the numbing medicine. You're, you're doing awesome. You will appreciate this once this <laughs> kicks in. Um, great, now I'm gonna pull this out. We're gonna let this um, sit for about five minutes to let the numbing medicine work. So now that the numbing medicine in, my, the numbing medicine is in, my next step is just to test to make sure he's not having a lot of pain. So I'm gonna push here. You should feel pressure, but not a lot of pain. Are you doing okay there? All right, great. So this is an uh, 18 gauge needle. I've got a, a 12 cc syringe. I'm gonna little pinch, one, two, three, poke. How are you doing? Good, good. And I can feel pop that I pop through the capsule. And now I'm gonna get a good backflow of the blood that's coming out of the knee joint. Um, he's doing great. So then the next step will be, I'm gonna uh, change syringes. So I'll grab a four by four if you would, thank you. Okay, um, so I'm going to take this off and we're going to change syringes and you'll just keep that there if you would. Um, okay, uh, you'll see this come back out. We're going to get more from there. And you can go ahead and stop. Great. Now that there's been almost 40 cc's of um, hematoma removed from the knee, I can see his kneecap much better applied a band-aid over the site that I did the aspiration. And then I would just recommend um, an ACE wrap just to help control some of the swelling um, that's still in the knee. It's much less than before. So I just recommend doing an ACE wrap uh, firm, but not super tight, which will help control some of the swelling. I can't even get a really good exam on his knee today because it is so swollen. So I am going to move forward with getting an MRI scan. We'll keep him in a neomobilizer or that'll keep his knee straight to help reduce his pain. So MRI scan, he'll come back and follow up with me.